San Diego is a beautiful city and it deserves great journalism. It sits at the forefront of the world. It's on the border. It's also the second largest city in the state of California. It's a very diverse population. It's a very engaged and smart population, and so it deserves good journalism. Well, 15 years ago, it became obvious that technological changes were changing not only a lot of industries, but most specifically the media. And coverage of events in San Diego was declining because of the economics of the print journalism. We all knew nothing about online news. Uh, he wasn't a whiz at the computer, but he was always intrigued with new ideas and uh, daring ideas and things that hadn't been tried before. We're brash and young, and we thought, like, well, we can we can run this, and we couldn't really decide which of us should run it, and so we, we decided to split the difference, and we had to learn a lot. Uh, we had to learn to manage an office and make sure everybody was excited with purpose. I got to work with a ton of incredible investigative journalists here. Uh, I got to work with Kelly Bennett and Will Carlos when they uh, sent Jim McConville to prison. I got to work with Adrian Florido, and that was probably my favorite work. I mean, visually, we were like out on the streets of San Diego constantly meeting real people, like the people who were really impacted by uh, government's decisions. It was a pretty, you know, fantastic experience working for The Voice. I wasn't there for long, but it definitely um, shaped my outlook on the world and also gave me an incredible set of skills that I use now. I'm an associate professor of political science here at The Ohio State University. To me, the important balance that voice has isn't a partisan balance or a coverage balance. Um, it's actually the balance between the integrity and standards uh, that were so important to Walter Cronkite and Neil Morgan and the voices of our past with the excitement and invention that voice has consistently been a part of um, as the internet age has caused news to evolve and diversify. So few places around the country are really devoted to doing investigative journalism. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes resources, it takes doggedness, and a lot of people don't have the luxury of pursuing that kind of work. Not only do we hold our elected leaders accountable for their actions and make sure that they're representing the community, but we also explain difficult topics and really get into the weeds of some of the issues that regular people might not be able to understand. I think the coolest thing that we've seen for the last 15 years is how many donors and members and readers refer to voice as us. You know, they see it as our thing, as, as a, a team that we've all put together that they're a part of. And, you know, that's a very special thing. Yeah, I hope to see like community continue to grow around Voice San Diego and to continue to support it, uh, to make sure that it's uh, something that's here not just for 15 years, but for like the Union Tribune has been for 150 years, that it's uh, an institution in San Diego that it remains a part of civic life for, uh, for much more than 15 years to come.